Hey everybody, Jack Boyles with Steam Engines USA and I'm coming to you today uh, with just this really cool uh, items that I'm going to share with you. Um, I'm kind of nerding out a little bit um, because this is probably uh, two of the most unique and just uh, just kind of awestruck items that I've ever been able to get a hold of. Um, and it's coins. Uh, I had actually bought these coins uh, over almost two months ago from Australia, uh, a company called Noble Numismatic, uh, and they deal in rare um, coins from all throughout the ages. Uh, so for the last, it took like a month, you know, for the, <laughs> these things to clear the sale, and then they finally shipped them to us, and. Um, then it took like 13 days here in customs and then showing up and getting home and then failed delivery attempts. But now they are here and this is just something really cool. Uh, so we'll take a look at it. So this is the, uh, the package here that they came in. Uh, nothing fancy there, but these are the two coins and I've not taken them out of the uh, plastic protective uh sheeting and cases and i'm gonna try to find some lighting uh around here maybe i can get over here with some of this lighting so i'm gonna spin this upside down this is a shekel of tire and this coin let me flip back around this coin is a biblical coin it's when uh judas betrayed christ and he betrayed him for 30 pieces of silver and it wasn't just any silver um shekel of tire uh in tire they made uh the basically the silver coins and they were minted with a higher quality silver it was a higher amount of silver and so when people paid tribute or paid their tithes or just paid anything to uh, uh the church they used in jerusalem you had to pay with uh, shekel of tire uh, at that time so when uh, in biblical history when Judas betrayed Christ he was paid 30 pieces of silver and this is actually one of that time this one in particular um, it was uh, 99 98 99 BC is the mintage so almost a hundred years before Christ but this would have been in circulation at the time. And then this other coin here was 23 uh, BC. So it's actually a little got a little, little bit more wear on it. Um, but it would have been uh, right before Christ was born, the birth of Christ, and then during the crucifixion um, and all during that time period. And then at some point, these uh, over history fell into uh, a collection of someone um, and I believe this one was sold in the 1970s and um, it's basically a documented like the lineage of this coin in previous sales and auctions. So it has, uh, I guess, kind of like a precedence established, um, which is very important when you're dealing with coins, um, you know, significant coins of value. Um, but this is this is awesome. So uh, you may not nerd out over stuff like that, but I think it is so cool that I can stand here and I have in my hands something that is over 2,000 years old. Um, not to mention that it was, uh, you know, financial. I, I'm always interested in finance stuff, but uh, the money of that time and the fact that this would have been uh, one of the coins that um, Judas would have taken 30 pieces of silver to betray him. Uh, not excited about that part, but just the whole uh, relevance to what this coin uh, is in that time period. So we're going to take a quick look, get a little bit closer. I'm going to try to get the light on so we can see here. Um, and this is the, the face of this is um, Melquarth. Um, and I don't know all of the details about it. And, you know, there's only so much you can tell from a coin but on the back side let's see i'm sorry about the, the video here i'm trying to do it with two hands but you can see the eagle and the um the dates and the writing on this coin uh 
you know, there are a lot of people a lot smarter than me that know about all of that. Um, but this is a real genuine shuckle of tire coin from uh, 99, 98 BC that uh, is literally what was used uh, during the biblical times. Um, now this other one is not in, in not as nice of condition. It has a lot more wear. Um, someone's actually taken a piece of it. Um, and it could be they cut off, maybe they owed some money for something, and they actually cut out a piece of that coin. Uh, there is no, no telling. You know, they say if a coin could talk, you know, it would be amazing. So you can barely make this one out. The lighting in here is terrible. I'm sorry, but let's see if I can get a better, a little bit better vantage point here. So that's the face. It's literally the same face. And then if I can switch this over to the back let's see you have the eagle there the bird let's see if you can make that out and if you notice right here see where the the edge of this coin that's those little dots it's off it really should be over to the the edge of the coin interesting interesting fact about these coins when they minted them they basically created the silver coin and then they took a mallet, a big giant, almost like a sledgehammer, big old piece of steel. And it had this design of Melkarth on the front, the eagle on the back. And a person had to take that sledgehammer, that tool. They put the coin down on a flat surface, probably a piece, another piece of steel or whatever. And they basically like an ax, like a big sledgehammer. And they slammed the... Uh, that down onto the coin and that made the impression on the coin so when when you see this one where the edge is not quite lined up that was just a bad strike um so imagine being that guy your job <laughs> is to strike these coins uh to an acceptable quality for the ruler of that time um so you may not have a job or a life if you weren't very good at it but this coin particular, obviously it is the nicer of the two and it's worth a lot more money. Um, but outside of that, this is just awesome. I am so excited to be able to have something like this. Um, you know, it, it's literally, this will literally probably be a, uh, an heirloom for my family. Um, I mean, just that is incredible to think that this coin right here has been around for 2,000 years. Look on the back here again. One more shot at the back. Unbelievable. Cool. I'm just super excited, man. This is like, you know, a lot of the folks on here, you know me personally, and um, I like history. Um, I like a lot of different things, um, but especially anything dealing with salvation and Christ and biblical times. Um, but that is pretty awesome. Uh, you know, I'm just kind of awestruck by it. Um, so literally holding a piece of history, you know, uh, it's just, it's just pretty amazing, you know? And, um, so yeah. So how, how cool is that? Um, there's so many, um, uh, reproductions, fakes, uh, out there in the world and especially in the coin world um, and I've always wanted to get one of these coins and when this auction happened I had the opportunity to buy um, two of them it was actually the only two shekel of tire coins in this auction and they had like I'm going to say it was pretty close to I think 4,000 coins um, and it was a global auction it was Pretty big deal I mean there were coins on there that went for hundreds of thousands of dollars um, but to be able to buy an authentic shekel of tire and know the I guess the prominence um, that it, especially the one that it's been sold previously it's verified experts have looked at these things and this they're legit you know for me that is important um, so yeah, I mean, this is so cool, you know, so yeah. Um, 
So just thanks for you know checking out the video. Thanks for checking out the videos and checking out these new coins that we have. And um, you know I appreciate it. So thanks for watching and me just sharing a little bit of so just something really cool. Just kind of nerding out on right now. You know, so I think it's awesome. So yeah. So anyway, tell me what you think. Um, I'll post it on YouTube and maybe Facebook. Um, but yeah, shekel of tire. So have a great day. 30 pieces is over. Hmm.